and it's like an aquarium down there man it's crazy that's a beast that's a beast did not know i thought i knew everything too about safety so what do you do for a living what's happening folks welcome to another video so we're headed offshore fishing today we don't really have any plans we're just going to go kind of rigged for anything and everything so should be a good time as always and i'm running late sort of i gotta go dude if i get another toll enforcement violation uh, it's it's every week so ever since the rhinovirus they have uh taken our toll booth workers away on pensacola beach every time you drive over to pensacola beach to uh what, whatever you're doing I, I i go fishing there about two weeks later you get a uh, a bill in the mail that says toll enforcement violation can we get it together and make it electronically just snatch the money out of my account when i drive through there or something you know i'm okay with that all right it takes time out of my day to pay a bill who wants to do that yeah i'll just take a chicken biscuit that'll be it just a biscuit by itself? yeah it doesn't matter what time of day you come to chick-fil-a there's going to be a line wrapped around the entire building at all times it could be 12 o'clock at, at night we got to grab us a little chick-fil-a before we go fishing man chick-fil-a workers are just so nice i feel like i'm in sunday school every time i'm doing the chick-fil-a drive through speaking of chick-fil-a this video is sponsored by carl's bait and tackle now if you're not familiar with carl's bait and tackle they're an online retailer where i get a lot of my lures from like some of the top big top water poppers that you're going to see me using in this video to hopefully catch a monster fish so check them out they're linked in my description below great place to get your lures mm. all right let's go fishing it's like a really pretty morning here in pensacola we have zero wind and zero clouds in the sky so that's a good thing visibility is going to be great out here a pretty sunrise just starting to come up man yeah, that was, sure did. Did, you, did you eat it yet oh we ate some of it we yeah put it on the grill char grilled it those are good man one of my one of my favorite fish to eat right there so a lot of boats headed out today must be due to the beautiful weather we're having we just stopped right here to try to get some bait we need some cigar minnows brian's got our first bait coming up of the day big fat cigar minnow oh you let him oh, go no. <laughs> Starting to get a few bait fish in there. He's got a, he's got a big one coming up. There you go. All right, all right. We just got out here. First bait is going on right here. We got a little live cigar minnow. Putting him on a knocker rig, and I'm going to drop him down about 30 feet under the boat. This is a really good cobia technique right when you pull up to these wrecks out here Oop, I'm, he just popped it oh there he is there he is oh take it take it he just slammed it he's he's getting it he's getting it oh there he is <laughs> he just hit it first fish of the day he's not very big i can tell you that whatever this is is semi-small I don't know. He wasn't down that deep either. It's right under the boat. It's definitely not an AJ. It's not fighting like a snapper. It is a snapper. Another red snapper. We'll see you in June. I don't know. I think I just lost whatever I had. I just hooked a good fish here on, a, on my on my topwater bait and he came off. I don't know. Whatever it is, just hit it again. There he is. Now that's a snapper probably there that hit the topwater bait. But the first one I don't think was. Ugh. I don't think the, the first one was, but I think what happened is he cut the bait in half and a snapper ate it. Ugh. That's what it is. Gosh. Uh-oh. They're aggressive today, folks. Woo! We're just chumming these guys, man. Chumming them to the back of the boat. 
Watch these fish come up, guys. I'm throwing out this uh, chum to the back of the boat right here. And it's like an aquarium down there, man. It's crazy. <laughs> Look at all the fish on the sonar. All right, we're just spot hopping. Doing some doing some butterfly jigging, doing some chumming, trying to see what we can get up. Got him! Ain't fat. There he is. Uh, I don't think it's real big, but I finally I finally hooked something. <laughs> yeah. Oh what? <laughs> All right, there is so many fish down here today. Every spot we come to is covered. I'm going to try this butterfly jig one more time here. I would drop a live one here, man. All right. There's a lot of fish down there. Oh, I got them, finally. <laughs> I've been jigging for like 10 minutes and finally hooked something. I'm uh, pretty sure it's... Oh. Hey, I'm I'm happy to hook anything. Though. Good gracious! I think we're whatever he is. He's kind of fighting hard. Just another snapper. Goodness! All that work for that right there. Ryan's got one coming here. We finally got something that we think is different, but we shall see here very shortly. I don't know. Now it's fighting kind of hard. Yeah. It's not. That is not a snapper. I don't think, man. That could be a uh, African pompano, Brian. No, nope, amberjack. Amberjack. Yeah, it looked like a jack. Yeah. Hey, maybe the jacks are getting fired up. Not an animal kill, huh? We finally caught something different than a snapper, which is good. We caught an amberjack on the butterfly jig. I'm gonna, killer. I'm gonna try this guy right here. That's a killer. Man. You should. Oh, ho, ho! oh, he smashed it. Oh, and missed it. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's on it again. He's on it again. He's on it again. Oh, he's on it. Come on. Come on. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, I got him. Oh, he's on. Woo! -hoo -hoo. That was incredible there, guys. Oh, my goodness. That was insane. And I'm about to go overboard. Ah. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if I can get him up, guys. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can get him up. Ah, ah, come on. Oh, throw right back out there. There was like 25 of them. Ah, oh, maybe I'll get this one in. Oh, there's a shark coming trying to eat it. There's a shark trying to eat it. Oh, dude, big shark on his tail. Huge shark. He just came under there. Oh. Holy God. I think I got this one, guys. I think I got this one. That's a beast. That's a beast. Come on, got him. Ah. Got him. Oh. Right here. <laughs> Big AJ on top water, man. Anytime you can get one on top water, it makes it a thousand times better. We're going to release this guy right here. I'm going to try to get another one. This makes me want to go GT fishing, man. I'm hoping uh, maybe we get a black fin tuna or something like that to come up. Something different. Nonetheless, this is awesome. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, right by the boat. Right by the boat. He's chasing it. Look. I reeled it away from him purposely I got to try to get the footage. I got all of that. And uh, 
I got the footage. I did not catch one, but purposely I was working it fast just to try to get uh, get the footage for Brian. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Look, 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 look. I'm, I've got this topwater plug and I'm figure eighting it right in front of the boat. And they're like smashing it. Look, 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 look. Oh man. That is stupid. Little sea turtle right there just chilling on top right here next to the boat getting him getting him a suntan cool little turtle though he doesn't even know we're here there he goes oh we just we looking at a sea turtle got a little film of him yeah <laughs> nah, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let me stop real quick and catch you guys up because it was kind of a funny situation, all right? So we're headed in, okay? And Brian sees these turtle, this turtle on top, and he wanted to stop and uh, go film the turtle for his vlog, okay? And I wanted some footage too. And so we're, we're headed in like this, and the Marine Patrol is headed out, all right? We're headed in, Marine Patrol's headed out. We, the Marine Patrol actually passes us. We see the turtle right to the right, and we pull off real quick so that we can get some footage, all right? And so we pull off, we start filming the turtle, and then all of a sudden, the Marine Patrol wheels around and comes back to us. And the first thing he said to us was like, uh, y'all are dumping over, he thought we were dumping over like illegal fish. Oh, we just started dumping stuff with fish. <laughs> nah, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me move these for you here. Yeah. We gotta catch fish before we can yeah. do something with them. You're not gonna be impressed. Is that the story today? Yeah. Three in a throw? That's in a throw, yep. Yeah. You got two fire extinguishers? I got one. One? Yeah. One big one? Uh, no, just your standard fire extinguisher. Let me check that thing out. So do I need two? Yeah. So anything 28 foot and above? Really? 26 foot and above, I'm sorry. Okay. Either one big one or two small ones. So. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, I'll take care of that. Did not know. I thought I knew everything too about safety. So, what, what do you do for a living? I'm a I'm a retired electrical engineer, but I have fished all my life. I fished. I lived down in Happy Jack, Louisiana. Worked in a marina. I thought that's fun. That yeah, was fun. I mean, I have one. I hope it's on. <laughs> I usually, I try, I always buy, these license will do. I always buy the cards. So well, thank you very much right. for your time, sir. I yep. appreciate it, man. Yep, no problem. What, Have uh, a good one, man. What were y'all targeting today? I'll say yeah. That. Oh, you said on the reefs? On the wrecks. They've really? been, yeah, there have been a bunch of them on the wrecks. We just didn't see them pop up today. I, I, I get his point. I'm sure he runs t into people all the time out there that are doing sketchy stuff. So for us to will off real quick, at that it was just bad timing. I get it. He probably thought we were doing something illegal. And so he pulls off to try to see and, and obviously we weren't but then we actually ended up being illegal because we had an illegal uh we didn't have the proper fire extinguisher which i didn't know i actually thought one fire extinguisher was adequate like that's what you were supposed to have but apparently a boat over 26 foot you have to have two he wrote us a warning for that. That's uh, just to clarify, that is what happened. And uh, you know, we got away with a warning and all is all is well, uh, but uh, it could have, uh, it, it could have went bad. Like if, because like we didn't even catch anything to keep that day. So we couldn't dump over illegal fish, even if we wanted to. But folks, as always, thank you for watching these videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, means a lot to me. Uh, you know, if you uh, have any fishing questions, uh, DM me on Instagram at Angler Up with Brant. Uh, if you have not checked out my educational channel yet, my fishing educational channel, it's at it's Angler Up on YouTube. Linked in the description below. Go check it out. If you're looking to buy or sell a house in Florida, hit me up. I'm a licensed realtor on the Panhandle. I work Pensacola, Destin, 30A in that area, Navarre, Perdido Key, in that area. So other than that, I hope each and every one of you have a great week.